Hello, student. My name is Arjit Das, and we will be continuing our uh, loop programming through this practice exercise. Previously, I have told you what are loops, what are the types of loops, and solve some program. Then we again solve some patterns on pattern displaying programs. Now we will be doing some program. in which is not related to the pattern and we will be using only do while loop and while loop because for loop is much easy to understand but do while loop and while loop has same the same same significance to them which haven't we practiced so to this lecture i will solve four questions of loop so without wasting let's start anything to let's start so first question tell us to input positive numbers and and find the largest number so we will for it we will take we have already taken a new source file get it a new source file we will take this We take this up to this. Control J, sorry, Control X, and Control D. Now, and a LARG. LARG will store the largest number. N will store number of numbers we will enter in, and I will store the number. We will first initialize LARG equals to zero. That is zero. And this contains a statement. Now we will be doing it with a while loop. So first we will take the input. How many numbers? So we will take a printf printf statement. Print a statement to enter the number of numbers. Numbers to be checked, and we will do this in semicolon scan f. We take this, this, this. This, this, and n. Take it in n. So we'll take the while statement. While n greater than equals to zero. We take This will copy paste this part. This this part and then modify it. It with I enter the number. So the number. To be checked. Now, if n is larger greater than large, then we take the term n r j equals to. Oh, sorry, I. Uh, I will be I. Uh, and N will be minus minus. This is the steps to be executed. To find the uh, largest number. 
so first we will save it uh, and largest number now we will compile it it will compile and then enter the numbers we will taking three number taking 10 20 30 oh sorry i will give the uh, print statement sorry okay the the largest number is comma and control s f9 it is compa oh sorry control s f9 it's compa successfully we we'll take three numbers 10, 20, and 30. We'll display the 30. Nice. We will compile it again, run it again. With three numbers we will 10 minus 8. Sorry, 10 minus 8 and minus 1 will display 10. So the program is working correctly. This is a uh, in this is the easiest way to find out the largest number for a set of number. Basically students uh, get confused that a list of numbers you have to take there. But the forward you have a, have not to display that display that set of numbers you have taken. So why do you use extra space for an array? And secondly, if I use do I look, I will simply exit and y control D where I put the same thing and the code will remain the same. See, no compilation error. And if I run with three numbers, Suppose 10 enter minus 7 enter 50, it will display 50 as the largest number. Let's create another source file. So input a number from the user and page is stable up to 10. So we will not ask like this. So we will do first of all. We have to take the main things. Uh, now, now I will send this message to the user to. To enter in the, the number who to Real. Yeah. 
No. Kill the fall. I goes to one. I listen goes to thing. I just the now we will print it in this banner. Print F. Print F. So we need. B K T the key comma. Oh, sorry, we take in the number. Can F will be N I N N into I. Now we will be selling it. This is the table. Table. Wait. Now we have to compile it. There is a problem. What is the problem? Print. Oh, sorry. Print F. Compile, compile successfully, and now I will run. So let us have a table of ten. Oh, sorry, there is some error in the code. Wait a minute. Save it, compile it. Uh, why it is not stopping? Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Something oh. Oh. oh, one because one. Oh, this is the problem. Now I understand. Now we run it with N. C. Yeah, yeah. So, this is the next question. Please look after it for something. First slide. We will do the same thing using a while loop. Exercise 3 we will be using a while loop. So we will be modifying this by
to minus one we are taking this we will take a sum and this will be removed so we will remove this portion now sum Greater than equals to minus ten one. Now the sum plus i delete plus equals to sum. We will be taking the inputs from sum. Oh wait, we can do this. This zero. We will use printf. Printf. Enter. Enter. Enter the number. So. Enter the number. N. We will take the input from the user to scan it. Comma mm, and I. Now if. I is 
greater than equal to zero, then sum will take place and this will be zero. Okay, we will compile it. Okay, there is a problem. Compile, compile successful. Then run it. Enter the number. Enter two, four, seven. Now minus five. Sorry, didn't display the number. Print F. Print F. So, so, positive numbers is now compiling it. Compiling it is. Complex successfully. Letter one, two, four, eight, minus nine. Solution is sixty. Four plus eight, eight plus four, twelve, fifteen, sixty. Same care program can be done in one loop by using putting this statement at the beginning. I hope you can understand the video. Clearly, hope you can understand what in this slide. Understand it clearly. Clearly. In the sound. We have the storing the. Sum in this value, sum is with this, and y is a control loop. Thank you, student, for attending my lecture.